Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So it's time to move some pigs. Um, we've got a set of pigs out here that are going to processing in a couple days, uh, less than a week now. And uh, it's time to move them out of the paddock that they've been in for a couple weeks onto a new paddock that we're also going to use as our uh, loading chute or where we're going to set up our loading chute. So hang out with us for a little while. We're going to clear some line. We're going to set some posts. We're going to put in some... Uh, put in some tea posts and uh, do all kinds of stuff. Get ready to move some pigs. So uh, hang out with us for a little while and let's, uh, let's get some pigs moved. All right, so here are the big pigs. Time for them to move. They've been on this spot here now for about three weeks. So it's time to move. You can see they beat it up pretty good. That's fine. We know they're gonna do that. So we're gonna move them this direction and you can see it is pretty, pretty thick back in here. And so, a couple of video, videos ago, I talked about thinking a step ahead and where you need, thinking about not just this move, but next move. All right, so this move is gonna be facilitated through this gate that we put in last time. Physical barrier, pigs don't think it's hot, so we're just going, when we're ready to move, we're gonna open that thing up. They're just gonna walk across over here to the next paddock. So we got them ready to move. Now, we got to think about, okay, we're going to move this time. What else, what's got to happen next time? Well, there's a couple things got to happen. First off, these pigs are going to go to processing here in about a week, a little over a week. So we got to be ready to set up a loading place, a place to load them up. <clears throat> and then we got to think about, okay, the ones that are left behind, which will be the mamas, where do they go next? So we're going to move them into this area here. And it looks thick, and it is thick. But I'm gonna show y'all something here. We had the, a set of pigs in this area late last year. So nobody's been on this in about nine months, give or take. Nine, 10 months, something like that. And when they were over here, it was in the winter time, late fall, early winter, they beat it up. I mean, they beat it up really, really good. And they just tore it up, but what we see now after those pigs have been over here is some pretty green stuff that's fairly lush and you can really see it back here in the back so let's walk back here and see show you exactly what the fruits of their labor has done this is going to be easy to clear we've been through here before this is one of those deals of reusing paddocks that we've talked about having our kind of temporary infrastructure set up on. We don't have that here, but where we've ran them here in the past, it's gonna be super duper easy to uh, set the paddock up. Now, this is what I want you to see because this is really, really cool. So right here. Can you tell where the pigs have been and where they've not? Last year, the pigs were over here on this side and you can see how green and lush that's come back in. They were not over here. And you can still, you can see we've still got a good litter, a good bed of leaf litter on the ground. So what that tells me is we've got to put them over here next time so they can do to this what they've done to this. So pretty excited about that. I've not really walked back here in this section of woods since we moved them off uh, last year, but I'm really impressed with what they've done. So people tell you you can't grow grass with pigs, gonna lie to you about something else. And I'll tell that to my grandmother. She thinks that I'm crazy when I tell her I can grow grass with pigs. Of course, back in her day, they just put pigs in a pen and you know, left them there until they were ready to market them or butcher them or whatever the case might've been. Pig in a you know 10 by 10, gonna be nothing but a mud pit anyway so but anyway super nice deal what they've done with this all right so then we're gonna run our line this is about where we're gonna run our line coral's going to get us some white step in posts so we can sort of uh, put an outline out where we're gonna where we're gonna run them but <clears throat> like I said six at least six of these pigs are going to market in about 12 days 10 days something like that I forget exactly but anyway we got to get them set up so 
right here we've got a nice flat level spot should be able to get the trailer in here without any problem we can get the load and shoot in here without any problem i think it's all pretty flat this is where we had the uh, uh, forestry mulcher come in last year and mulch down all this stuff so good spot here for loading pigs so that's the plan we're going to get on it we're going to do a little weed whacking going to set some posts pull some line maybe go ahead and bring the uh, load and shoot down get it set up so we got work to do gonna get these pigs moved i'm excited to see what they do right here i think they're gonna clean this mess up yeah boy Excited about the pigs. Hang around with us for a little while. Let's see what this thing turns out like, see what it looks like. And uh, let's see if we can get some pigs moved. Get them ready to load. Okay, so we've pulled the first side, just a test, to uh, check everything, see what we're gonna have to do, what we're gonna have to clear out, or what we're gonna have to adjust on right here, hitting up against the tree, so we're gonna need to put a uh, step-in post right here. Got some brush we need to trim right back here, some overhead stuff, not a big deal. Rest of it, pretty good. Got one other small tree up here near the end i'm not gonna walk all the way up there we've got another small tree up near the end i'm just gonna take the pole saw we'll just cut it off but uh gonna be a nice space plenty of room I'm gonna use some of our little red knock-in posts to uh you know pull some of the height down over some low areas lift it up in some places where it uh is dipping kind of low don't have very many of those right now but We'll use those uh, knock-in posts <clears throat> to adjust our, <clears throat> excuse me. We use those knock-in posts to adjust our height in a lot of places. So, but anyway, we're gonna have a nice space. Um, it's beautiful out here tonight. Absolutely gorgeous. Sun coming through the trees over there. So, we'll get the weed eater and do a little, do a little trim here. I think those have got a real good pair of cutters on them. But these do. Cut 
camera through there. What? Yeah. You mean my fence in here? Well, try to make it kind of secure. We don't want the pigs to get out. You know? She's huge. I mean, she's like an island. All right, so all of our spark is off. There work. All right, piggies, time to move. Didn't turn off, did you? Here we go. Now we're getting the piggy parade. Scratch your nose on that water bucket. Making a terrible racket. Look what they go right to. They start eating on those briars. Whatever else they can find over here. one of the red boys. It must do it the way she's rubbing that nose on there. I believe they are. I believe they are a little bigger than the ones that's up there with that other group. That sounded awful.
Yeah. That'll be easy. That ain't no problem. Okay. Yeah, we'll find us a good spot. All right. We just about got everybody over here now. All right, so got the water barrel set up. We're gonna fill it up. Got a couple of them that are trying to venture back over, back and forth, but I mean, it's fine. We've, I done a little rigging and we've got the, uh, we got both sections hot now. So I think what we're gonna do is just leave this, leave this gate open tonight and let them kind of wander back and forth between the, between the two. Um, and then once they're all over here, which will probably be sometime tomorrow, we'll uh, get the uh, get the gate put back together. So she's I mean she's an anomaly. She just does her thing on her time. Look at this. I, well, I, I ain't gonna worry about. It. I ain't gonna worry about it now. It was water. She, she wants some water or something. I don't know what she's doing. Anyway. All right, I think that's gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. You know, we've uh, we've got them moved over. We got it, we've at least got the paddock set up. They're kind of coming back and forth. We'll leave the paddock open tonight and then we'll put this gate back up tomorrow um, and get them, uh, get them closed in over here. They're already over here foraging. I mean, they're over here doing their, they're doing the thing that we want these pigs to do and that's, you know, eat bugs and grasses and worms and there's, I saw some black walnuts over there, so I'm sure they'll find those and go crazy over them in a day or two. So anyway, appreciate y'all watching. We'll uh, see you on the next video. Thanks.